Hi, Hannah. Are you okay? I noticed you were upset earlier at the yoga class and left suddenly. Hi, Marie. Sorry, yeah, I had to get back quickly. But you were crying. Are you sure you're okay? The truth is, I'm not okay. I had an accident. Oh no, what kind of accident? I'm so embarrassed. When a yoga teacher asked us to get into position, I leaked a little and wet myself. Oh, Hannah. I understand how you must have felt, but it's more common than I think you realise. Many women leak a little when making sudden movements in certain positions. It sounds like you might have a bladder weakness. I had a similar situation a couple of years ago. It really got me down because it stopped me doing some of the exercises and activities I could do. This affected my mood and even my family noticed I wasn't myself. I knew I had to resolve this problem somehow. I did my research and listened to this. One in three women have issues with urinary incontinence. That's one billion women in the entire world. The average woman with incontinence will spend over 1,000 US dollars on incontinence management. And it's not just your age or pregnancy that might cause it, but also doing sports. For the female athlete's case, 51% have had this problem, and believe it or not, the average age is around 23 years old. Incontinence is a problem that not only older women suffer from, but also young ones, from 20 to 40 years old after the second pregnancy from 45 to 55. There are three types of incontinence. Stress incontinence occurs during activities that increase abdominal pressure, coughing, laughing, sneezing or physical activity. Urge incontinence occurs when the need to urinate comes on so quickly that you might fail to make it to the bathroom in time. Mixed, a combination of both stress and urge incontinence. I thought I was the only one suffering with this. Gosh, no, Hannah, you don't have to be embarrassed about it. I found a solution, a really good one. Come over and I'll show you. So look, this is the TENS Care Perfect Pelvic Floor Exerciser. One, you place the batteries in here. Two, connect the lead to the unit. Three, assemble the probe and attach the leads. Four, insert the probe. Five. It's easy then, just turn it on. You can then, after a while, join in with the stimulation to help strengthen your pelvic floor. And soon you can replicate the sensation yourself. You get better and stronger. Don't overdo it though. It's like any exercise, too much will cause muscle fatigue. Be patient and just do 20 minutes a day. Yes, it does look easy to use. I just need to use it each day. I missed a couple of days here and there, but I felt an improvement within just a few weeks. And after about 12 weeks, well, I just felt so much more confident. Another bonus is having a strong pelvic floor muscle will improve your sex life. Thank you, Marie. You are such a good friend. I'm going to get myself a TENSCARE Perfect Pelvic Floor Exerciser. I will see you at yoga in a few weeks.